YouTube, Blaine here for Bridge for Games, and today we're going to be actually doing a little something different. Uh, we're going to be hopping on and doing some uh, matches on Pokemon Showdown here, and we actually are on a special server called Legacy uh, Showdown. So what this is, this is a special server that allows us to have Series 8 teams, even though it's not currently legal on um, normal Pokemon Showdown. So we actually have a couple of interesting teams here that we got together. Uh, we're going to be using this one here. There's actually um, <laughs> a double double dark bird here. So let's take a real quick look. Um, so the team has Galarian Moltres and Yveltal. Now this team was kind of a weird idea that we came up with um, earlier in the season. Um, once that we thought this might be around where we're going to use basically a common lead would be Raichu, Galarian Moltres which serves to allow us to proc weakness policy, but also allows us to protect uh, Galarian Moltres from things like Regilecki. Um, and then the idea was if you can pull off a Volt Switch to proc a weakness policy, you could bring in Yveltal, and then it'll boost up the Fiery Wrath by uh, an additional 30% thanks to, um, to a Dark Aura. And then... Even more fun, we decided to really crank up the utility on Raichu here and bring Celesteela and Tapu Fini, both of whom really don't like dealing with uh, electric moves. Uh, we also have Ric Flair, our Incineroar here. He's actually the same um, Incineroar we've been using on the um, Regigigas team I used in the Players' Cup 3 qualifier. Um, the only difference we added Darkest Lariat, and really if we have Yveltal with that, it is pretty darn good. Um, Celesteela is a Meteor Beam Power Herb set, uh, with Flash Cannon and Flamethrower, and Tapu Fini is actually a much more defensive, um, support version. We didn't really have Taunt, and we wanted it, and it also has Heal Pulse to help out with Galarian Moltres, um, once it inevitably gets down around half. So, that's the general gist here. We're gonna just hop on and see how the team does with some, um... You know, uh, some uh, Series 8 here, uh, VGC. So let's just make sure it's all validated here. Hey, it's valid. Cool beans. All right. And guys, before we get started, I just want to take a minute to tell you guys to uh, go ahead and check out our sponsor for uh, this episode today. It's Trollandtoad.com. Trollandtoad.com is the number one source to get all of your trading card and collectible items. Uh, it is a great source to get everything for Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! You name it, they have it. And if you sell them any cards, right now they have a 35% trade-in bonus on top of their normal uh, trade-in bonus numbers, which are their buy numbers, which are already incredibly high. So in addition to that, if you guys, when you go to checkout, type in Bridge4Games as the coupon code, you guys will get a discount code on your order, and it will help out the channel. So guys, make sure to go check out Trollandtoad.com, and we're going to jump right into our game here. So all right, uh, let's go ahead and get started. My name here is uh, I am George Feeney. Um, because why not? He's one of the greatest, uh, most wise people of the, uh, 20th century. Alright, so we have an interesting, uh, opponent here. And so he has a, uh, Zapdos, uh, Galar, Zamazenta, Rillaboom, Entei, Whimsicott, and Incineroar. So, a few key takeaways here. First and foremost... His team is extremely vulnerable to flying, um, and um, just I, I'm I'm actually kind of in awe of how poorly it fares against that. Um, hmm. I don't think Ric Flair, our Incineroar, does anything at all here. Actually, um, the only thing that's frustrating with um, Zamazenta here is that it's just it's very good and the fact that it's steel type is gonna be a real pain in the butt. Um kind of flamethrower, but we're just gonna go all in here. We're gonna actually go for our traditional lead, the Raichu Moltres with Yveltal and do I want Tablofini or Celesteela? You know, they're both good for different reasons, honestly. Um hmm. I'm going to go Celesteela. I'm not totally convinced that this is correct. Um, 
But like, I like Tabufini, but like Tabufini has such a hard time with stupid, stupid Rillaboom. And depending on the movies on Zamazenta, it can be a little bit of trouble also. Um, Celesteel is interesting, although I don't feel like he's going to bring his Entei here. Um, mainly because I don't know what it, it does here, if I'm being perfectly honest with y'all. Um, if I were my opponent, I would go for a parting shot on Moltres, but I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's going to fake out the Raichu. Which means we're going to Airstream Whimsicott. And I'm going to attempt to... I'm going to attempt to Volt Switch the Moltres. If we do get faked out, it's no big deal. We didn't get faked out. He does get off a Snarl. Okay. No biggie, no biggie. That actually is ironic because it makes our um, move here a little bit better. Um, this is actually a little trickier than I was thinking. I'm going to actually bring in Celesteela here. Yeah, now we figured it was probably Sash. That's perfectly okay. Um, I just want to go for another Airstream into the Whimsicott slot. I'm going to go for a Meteor Beam on Incineroar. Awesome. He thought we are more of the, um, you know, defensive um, sort of combo-esque version. But in reality, we're actually a very, very um, more power-forward version here. So we bring him down to his um, Citrus Berry. Was it a Citrus Berry or was it a Pinch Berry? A Guav Berry. Okay, it was Pinch. All right, yeah. A lot of people are opting for Pinch Berry now because... With cra uh, junk like Kyogre and like just a lot of the random mons in this format. Um, see, I'm wrong about everything. Guy at Entei in the back. Um, yeah, just with a lot of the mons that are available right now. Um, you know, Incineroar is going to get knocked down to his uh, Pinchberry range a lot more frequently than he was in the last season where Citrus Berry was preferable. So unfortunately, it seems like that's probably the way to go now. Um, we're two times speed, so we're actually faster, or we're on par with his tailwind. Um, I'm going to go for Max Darkness here. And I'm going to switch in Yveltal. And just to kind of give that the extra little boost, and if it can somehow knock this sucker down, okay. So we just go for a Flare Blitz, no big deal, no big deal. That Entei, uh, he, bro took that real good. Um... Now, the boy's got some decisions to make here. Um, hmm. God, I hate that Incineroar. Alright, so we lose our Yveltal. That's no big deal. Flinch? Hey, hey! We're back in this, boys. All right. Um, we're going to bring out Raichu here. Um, I'm actually going to click Fiery Wrath here, and I'm going to nuzzle the Entei. And the reason I'm going to do this, it's going to make the Entei slower uh, because the Paralysis will take effect right away, and then it'll let me hit with the um, Fiery Wrath here, which... Oh, it went before... Oh, because the speed boost. Duh. I'm bad at this game. Also, guys, in case you're not aware, it's uh, 11 o'clock my time, so forgive me if I'm a little uh, punchy or just confused in general. That's been known to happen with me. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and switch in Celesteela, and I'm going to Volt Switch into Entei, which will let me bring Moltres back into the other slot. Oh, he went for a close combat. Okay. Okay. That's real bad there. All right. Um. So now we got some some choices here. Moltres is gonna come in, be on the right. Um. I'm just gonna click Fire Wrath. I don't really have a lot of other options. Uh, Zamazenta is absolutely faster, but this hopefully will pick up the double. And we are paraflinching. Okay. So I mean, now you know the question really just becomes what what happens here. Um. I'm going to protect. I want to see what he's going to go for. He went for a wide guard. 
The madman. The absolute madman. Okay. Uh, that being the case, we're gonna air slash the end to... Uh, hmm. Does he go for it again? Does he go for it again, chat? Um, I'm gonna air slash the ente. If I flinch, I might scream. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now we're gonna air slash the... See, Zamazent is faster. That's not good. Yeah, we're just gonna air slash Zamazenta and see what happens here. Okay, he did get us with the CC. Alright, well, GG's to our opponent there. Um... GG. I think he already left. He did. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the main menu here, and we're gonna go and try and find another uh, opponent here. We do have a couple other teams we're gonna try out as well. Um, so we have a couple other teams I wanted to experiment with. This one's using a double horse configuration. Um, I'm just gonna go back to that real quick. That is a, uh, big old mess of a team here. <laughs> so we have, like, a sun team. We have a team that's gonna be using the Calyrex, uh, Shadow Rider. Um, we also have a team that's basically um, very similar to the Regigigas team I used for the Players Cup, but it has Zacian now. So it's a new way to abuse um, Weezing, because you can flick your Weezing in and out to keep giving uh, Zacian a plus one boost, which is very, very cool. So, alright. So my opponent has some real, like, fast mons that just do a bunch of, like, craziness here. Um... question becomes, what do I want to do? I'm very afraid of, uh, Thunderous. Like, Thunderous and, um, Thunderous and Regilecki are just, like, next-level nightmare scenario for this team. Um, I'm gonna bring Moltres, and I'm gonna bring Incineroar. Well, they could be Defiant. Plot thickens. You know, I changed my mind. I'm gonna bring Moltres. I'm gonna bring Celesteel up with Raichu in the back. Or do I just lead? I'm overthinking this. I'm gonna lead Moltres, Raichu, Celesteel in the back, and then I need something to deal with Zacian, and that is not one of these two. So that is Ric Flair. Woo, Nature Boy. All right, so. He's got Thunderous, he's got Whimsicott. Now what we have here is a lot of BS, but we're gonna go for the Airstream on Whimsicott, and I'm gonna go for, man, times like this I really wish I had Fake Out. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna go for the Darkness, and we can't paralyze it because it's electric type. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm actually gonna Volt Switch my own Moltres here. All right, so interesting note there. Thunderous is actually faster than us, um, you know, regardless of any boost that we have right now. So he's actually going to pick up the um, speed boost there. Okay, so we drop his special defense. He's defiant. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring Celesteela. And I'm actually going to Airstream Whimsicott and Meteor Beam Thunderous. Is that bad? That feels bad. Am I bad, chat? Uh, I'm gonna use, no, we're going to Airstream Whimsicott because we want to regain our um, speed control here. But the real question is, does he go for the kill on Celesteela or does he go for a hit on Moltres? I'm just going to go for the Meteor Beam. Oh my god, I hate this guy so much. Okay, well, guys, we're we're dead as we're dead as dead can be. I mean, yeah. All right, we're gonna just concede to our opponent here. And I'm gonna pick up one more with this team before we go ahead and switch to something a little more uh, palatable. And currently, they're actually so this is a uh, proxy server called Legacy VGC .psim .us. and this team is actually very very fun it's very interesting um, for sure this guy <laughs> how do I put this this player strikes me as somebody who has trouble making up their mind 
uh, because his team is half sun, half rain. Um, okay, you know, more power to you, man. Uh, that's that's all good. You know, that's good in the hood. Um, if Kyogre is Scarf, we're in for like a world of problems. Do we think it's Scarf? That is the optimal $10,000 question here. He has Tornadus, so my instincts say no. Which means I'm going to go Moltres, and I'm going to go Raichu. And then what? <laughs> um, then, but, oh, he could just Tailwind. Hmm. I'm going to go Moltres, Ric Flair. With the Aveltal... I'll bring Celesteela. Celesteela actually presents some reasonably good options for what my opponent is going to bring, most likely. Okay. Alright. Well, we found out our opponent did bring Tornadus, which says to me it is trying to get a early quick speed advantage if possible. So, I'm going to Airstream into Tornadus, and I'm going to fake out into Tornadus. Now... If it is, it is Scarf. Oh my god. Oh no. Well, okay, that's not the end of- Oh my god, it lived too. Eek. You ever one of those days you're like, should I have gotten out of bed today? And you're like, nope. Kind of how I'm feeling right now, guys. Um, <laughs> Kyogre is- I'm amazed that he is Scarf with Tornadus. I really am. There is no way he's pulling that kind of speed normally. Um, yeah, we're, we're just going to get murdered. Okay. All right, guys. I'm uh, going to retire this team. We're going to try something a little else here. Just, you know, you know, get dirty, take chances, that kind of stuff. Uh, let's go to the team builder. We do have our own Kyogre team I have not experimented with yet. Um, not even a little bit. Um, and we have this. I want to play with this Kyogre team. I, I'll play for the format. That might help, right? Alright, so we're going to go um, Series 8, VGC 2021. My team is valid. Of course it is. Uh, so real quick, just to touch on this team, we have a uh, Mystic Water, Kyogre, Magnet, uh, Regilecki, Focus Sash on Urshifu, uh, Wackenberry, Tornadus, um, and then we also have Metagross with Policy, and we have a Landos Landorus Therian, which is Choice Scarf to basically just get things in and out. He also has Brutal Swing, uh, which can do a couple different things. It can proc our Weakness Policy on Metagross, but it also is very good at taking care of the... Um, Calyrex Shadow Rider. So we're going to go ahead and uh, play with this team here. i got to find the team. There we go. Alright, cool. And we are basically going to be using a very similar team to the one we just lost to. Why is there more Pico here? I couldn't tell you. Um, <laughs> Alright, so he's got a Weezing. More, the more Picos throw me, i got to tell you. He's got, he's got Weezing. So, like, Weezing is get, basically going to be used, I, I would presume, with the Intimidate on the um, um, Arcanine here. Um, but the real question then becomes, what do I want to do? I definitely want Kyogre here. It's insane. Um, I'd like Urshifu. Oh, he's a nice guy. You too. Enter. Um, so, we have our Kyogre again. Um... I kind of want Tornadus, but I also kind of want Urshifu. Because he's not going to... We are not that fast, though. Yeah, I'm going to bring Urshifu... Or, uh, Tornadus. I tell you, I can remember things. I'll bring Metagross, and then I'm going to bring Urshifu in the back to kind of just... Um... Yeah, Urshifu. Urshifu can deal more, uh with random nonsense that might show up here and, and probably will show up here, if we're being honest. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started here, and uh, hopefully in a moment. And uh, I'm not gonna set the timer yet. I'll see if my opponent is uh, able to reply and uh, get going here. And of course, if he doesn't, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, whoa, infinite screens. Uh, if he does uh, take a little bit longer, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the timer on. Uh, let's just do that now. And this is another one, uh, Sports is a server that I've seen also that I got from uh, Moxie Boosted. Um, it's, it's, it's good, it just doesn't have the same, um, frankly, the same level of players that the other uh, team has at the moment. So, Alright, so more, does more Pico get fake out? I actually have no idea. We're, we're going to look it up together, guys. We're going we're gonna to learn. We're going to learn together. We're going to learn together. So I'm going to go on Smogon to actually pull this up because it's just a little uh, simpler. More Pico. All right, so it gets the hunger switch thing in the jig. Does it get? Oh god, it doesn't work out. Oh, lovely, lovely. Um, that being the case, I'm actually gonna protect, and I'm gonna attempt to tail. Oh no, when I hit the brutal swing. Oh great. Well, I misclicked, guys. That was a mistake on my part. Well, I mean, I, I chip them both. That's something. That's good progress. Uh, we're going to Water Spout, and we're going to Tailwind here. Um, now, Zacian did go first, and we know it's crowned, so after our Tailwind here, we're actually going to be faster um, than both of his Mons, and barring anything unforeseen, I imagine they're both going to be very, very dead here. Um, I mean, you never know. Um... I was wrong about that Entei. Oh yeah, he quit. Okay. Well, uh, that that does happen with <laughs> Kyogre. Oh, he didn't quit. It looked like it because of the way the screen flickered there. Okay. I mean, I I click Water Spout again, and I also click Icy Wind. It's gonna slow down his team, and then he's gonna get dunked with the um, Water Spout, which. Like, Kyogre is a very cool mon, and I like Kyogre. I like, it looks amazing. It's a great Pokemon. Like, it's too strong. Like, Water Spout is just a devastating. Look at this. Look at this. He Dynamaxed, and Kyogre gave him the middle finger. Like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just too good. Like, Kyogre is, is a dumb, dumb Pokemon. And it just... If you're ill-prepared for water, like... What do you do? You just lose. Um, I don't know. We're gonna find another game here. Um, sorry about me going off a little tangent there. Um, okay. So, our opponent here has got Regilecki, Urshifu, Grimmsnarl, Galarian Moltres, uh, Mamoswine, and Dialga. Dialga, why did he have to? Why did it have to be Dialga? Dialga's a mod that's very uh, complicated to play with sometimes. So, I feel like I want Regilecki and Tornadus here. And, like, am I, am I wrong to not bring Metagross? Like, he seems like he's. You know, okay to handle it, but then, like... You just have to bring Metagross, right? I mean, it's, it's just too good not to bring. Like, it's just a mod. It's just the perfect Pokemon. So Regilecki, I think, is actually going to have to stay home here, which feels wildly incorrect, but... I'm going to bring Tornadus and Metagross with Urshifu in the back and Kyogre. And we'll see if I'm a scrap. All right, so he's got Grimmsnarl. I hate Galarian Moltres. Let it be known. Um, what what drives me crazy is there's so many stupid things Grimmsnarl can go for here, and they're all good. They're just all good. Um, I'm gonna go for a Tailwind actually, and I suppose I'm gonna go for the Steel Spike into Grimmsnarl.
Yeah, I suppose he's going to Dynamax and hit us for a giant dark Max Darkness. Oh, we got tricked. Please not an eject button. Uh, okay, well, we took it out. Uh, we're going to get clipped here for an Airstream. Lame. Although, we can bring in Kyogre and commence Middle Finger phase. That's good, too. Yeah, let's do that. Middle Finger time. All right. Kyogre comes in. Uh, if he brings in um, Rillaboom, which he did, um, then now we have some, some choices to make here. Um, interesting. I really need a flying move on this bond. Which I think we might have to change at the end of this matchup, actually. I'm an Icy Wind, and assuming that he's going to hit me with a Grassy Glide. Let me think about this for a minute. Let, let's think about this. All right, so Glaring Moltres is a pain in the butt. And I, I want to hit it with a water move and not an ice move. So then... This is infuriating. All right, I'm going to bring in... Uh, I guess I have to Icy Wind here, don't I? And I'll Ice Beam on Rillaboom. Okay, he has got to be Miracle Berry to get that kind of... Uh, Miracle Seed, excuse me. To get that kind of uh, power boost there. Is it going to take us out? No, no, it didn't. But we're still out for the most part. Unless... Now we're pretty much dead. All right. GG's to our opponent there. We're going to go ahead and pick up another one real quick. Let's see where we're at here. Uh-huh. Um, I can confirm this is a team of Pokemon. Uh, other than that, you know, you guys as good as mine, guys. Uh, I mean, okay, real talk. Regilecki's probably real good here. Um, I, ugh. I mean, I guess Urshifu isn't like bad. Um, I, I don't even know, like, guys, this guy is running just a bunch of nonsense in this format. I mean, let's just be real here. Um, does this thing have Swift Swim? Okay, it does. So, we need to change of plans. Red Lucky Tornadus, Urshifu, and Medico. We got a plan. We, we, we pulled it together, guys. Okay, cool. So this thing has approximately one quadrillion and a half speed. However, that's fine, because we're going to be faster, because we're an Electroweb and Tailwind. And unless this fish that is a torpedo propeller uh, thing, unless it... Oh, good golly. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. All right, that did awesome damage to everybody involved. Uh, to juice his attack. Okay. I was kind of worried he was going to go for a water move and then just kill Regilecki with the uh, stab that was also rain boosted there, but he went for the knuckle instead, which is great for us as it turns out. Um, so then what do we want to do? I want to get rid of this thing because, good God. Um, so we're going to Volt Switch into it. And I'm really hoping that we can bring out the Metagross here because I'm going to Brutal Swing. Oh, great. It worked. Cool. Even better. Bring out Metagross, and we're going to go ahead and Brutal Swing, which is going to pop both of us and activate my weakness policy. Gyro Ball. Okay, cool. So he's, he appears to be at least... Um, he probably doesn't have... Um, whatchamacallit? Um, body Press. He, he may, but it seems like he just has the, the one there. Um, and we kill two is Mons. I mean, how bad can this be? I'm going to Ice Punch... I mean, do I care? I'm just gonna normally ice punch this thing. 
And I'm gonna... Oof. I guess I'm gonna Icy Wind his mom's? Alright, cool. Great. Uh, so now we're down to a one versus uh, uh, three here. Um, I'm going to use Urshifu. Now, all the moves I have against Ferrothorn are bad. Uh, so we're going to use Stomping Tantrum and a Close Combat. And hopefully that takes it out. And Stomping Tantrum, awesome. Cool, nice clean uh, win there over a guy with uh, no restricted, so... Uh, as much as I'd like to count that and tell you how awesome the team is, even though we did win one real match, um, I can't really count that as much of a win, unfortunately, just because he didn't have the same fighting capabilities, if we're being honest. Um, anyways, back to happier news here. We're going to be fighting against this guy who has Xerneas, the uh, spawn of Satan, uh, Lapras, Tornadus, uh, Amoongus, Incineroar, and Landorus. Therian. All right, now, guys, Buddy here's got a lot of mons that are extremely weak to, um, well, let's, let's say they're fragile in the face of Kyogre. Um, that being said, he's got a lot of mons that are really freaking scary, too. Um, but I kind of want to go, like, I, I hate, I hate Xerneas. I hate Xerneas. It's, so, it's too good. It's just such a scary, scary mon to, to deal with. Um, I definitely want Tornadus. And do I want Kyogre? Kyogre just doesn't do anything to Lapras. That's real issue here. I'm going to go Tornadus, Regilecki with Kyogre and Metagross in the back. And the reason I want Metagross, one Iron Head from Metagross will... Kill is dead, 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 dead in its tracks, which is exactly what I want. So, we're going to get up a Tailwind, and I'm going to go for a... Uh, hmm. I hate Xerneas. Um... We're going to get up a Tailwind, and we're going to Volt Switch into Xerneas, which is probably going to get Rage Powdered. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so we're going to bring in our Metagross, and he's going to get off a of Geomancy. That's okay, guys. Not the end of the world. Might feel like it. I, I assure y'all it's not. Now, it is double speed. That is a little scary, but we're going to go for our... Um, I'm actually going to click Icy Wind here, and I'm going to Hailstorm into a Moongus. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Did not deal as much as I was worried about here. Great. All right, Moongus is dead. So now what are we going to do? We are faster than Xerneas, which is key. It is absolutely key to this plan working. So we're going to Brutal Swing, and I'm going to steal... Oh, yeah, I'm going to steal Spike into the Xerneas. That's fine. Alright, so we're going to activate our weakness policy, and we're going to get off a nice big steel spike right into Xerneas. You love to see it. And he's going to get off a Renison Resonance. I can talk, guys. I promise. Um, I suppose I want Regilecki here. And what am I going to do with Regilecki? I'm going to use Eerie Impulse to uh, reduce its uh, special attack on Lapras. And then again, we're just going to... Yeah, no, that's still happening. But I'm going to use Max Quake on Xerneas. Why did it get the double? Can I kill it? Can I kill it anyways? No, I can't kill it anyways. Oi, tough but fair, I suppose, huh? I suppose I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. No, let me think about this. I'm going to go for an Electroweb on both, and I'm going to go for an Iron Head into Xerneas, just in case. Alright, it kills it anyways. 
I was a little bit worried about where to put the Iron Head, um, because I didn't really know what the best, like, optimal move was there. Um, but we're okay. Didn't end up mattering anyways. Okay, and our opponent forfeits. Alright, well, good job. Good game to him. Um, you know, being prepped against Xerneas is really a big thing in this meta, and that's something I really want to make sure that we are, uh, achieving, because that is about as clutch as you can get if we're being honest here. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in one last game here with this team, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, call it an evening. So let me go ahead and switch back to our uh, showdown screen here, and uh, yeah, we'll get one more in with this team. I kind of like it. I, Kyogre is just so good, and I, I'm certainly going to be looking at that um, for you know sort of a first step into the uh, the meta as far as what I want to do. I, I may be looking into adding like a Rillaboom to this team. I've been pretty un unfortunately unimpressed with uh, um, Landorus. I don't think he does anything, actually. <laughs> I hate to be so br so blunt about it, but uh, I believe it's probably the case. Um, all right, guys. So we have a bunch of interesting mons here. Um, <laughs> I hate this game. Uh, so... The real question is, do we think he's he's brave enough to bring Shadow Rider? My my instincts tell me no. And, and the reason my instincts say that is because he would have to have a lot of gumption to bring it in the face of an Urshiku Dark and a Regilecki Kyogre. Um, so if he brings that and we lose... I tried. Uh, so we're going to actually probably leave that on the bench. Um, I'm going to lead Tornadus and... The and is the important question here. Probably Tornadus and Metagross. That feels right. Um, I'll bring Ogre in the back. Yeah, I got 20 seconds. Chill. And you know, Landorus feels good here. All right, we'll bring Landorus. We're going to bring the Mon that I said doesn't do anything, guys. All right. Um, so Homeboy has Thunderous Therian. Or Incarnate, not Therian. I like Between Us, we have all the genies. That's cool. Nice, that's fun. Um, like, it's gotta be Defiant, right? I'm gonna attempt a Tailwind. No, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go Big Brain here. Oh, no, I can't go Big Brain. I gotta go Tiny Brain. Go for Tailwind. Max Hailstorm. Fake out. Yeah. Okay, it does kill us, unfortunately. Um, but it is orbs, so hopefully it's not too bulky. Didn't kill it. Dang. Okay. Um, that was an unfortunate not KO there. Um, I do Landorus, who is Scarfed, but we are popping the Defiant. I'm just gonna click Rock Slide and Steel Spike the Thunders. It's pretty frustrating too. Um, uh, I want to Steel Spike Thunderous so I get the extra defense boost against whatever garbage he has in the back. If he does have the Calyrex, you know, good on him. There's not a lot you can do about that to, you know, prepare accordingly. Um, all right, so we doubled on Landorus. We're going to take out Thunderous here. And we have a turn left of Max, which is pretty nice. Um, if he has Incineroar, that would be fine. I w actually wouldn't mind seeing that. I mind seeing that, though. Alright, Kyogre clicks Protect, and I click Hailstorm on. All right, if he does go for the shadow move, the shadow move, the, what's it called? Astral Barrage or something like that? If he does go for that here, that's actually not so bad because it'll actually proc our weakness policy and probably won't kill us. Um, but oh dear God, that does so much damage. All right, well, boom. Get out the way. All right, um, 
So now we got some some thinking thinking we gotta do here, guys. Um, it's always in DD. Why did it have to be in DD? We click Origin Pulse, and we protect. Uh, he's got to be faster, so yeah. Origin Pulse, protect, fingers crossed. Oh, he's got the helping hand. What a move. Oh, oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, it's not good enough. Uh, okay. It really wasn't good enough. I mean, I guess we didn't have the rain, but, uh, oh, if we did. <laughs> um, and he's just going to click it again, right? Is he going for the Astro? Yeah, he sure is. Okay. Alright, well, guys, um, you know, we lost here unless that move could miss, which I'm pretty sure it can't. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we'll give another try to a team that I came up with uh, later on. He's got a pretty good rating, too, uh, for this uh, nonsensical format that's not out yet. <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to just do one last little thing here. I'm going to show this team off, and then we're going to say uh, good evening to y'all. So this is the next team I came up with. It's uh, a Choice Scarf Lele that can fling the scarf at Calyrex Shadow to proc a weakness policy. Um, I don't know if this is good. Uh, it, it's very fun. I've used it a couple times to tinker around with it, so we'll have to see. Um, but anyways, guys, you know, thank you so much for being with us tonight on our journey into the uh, the ladder here. And, uh, you know, please make sure that you like and subscribe to us on YouTube. It helps so much. You guys have no idea. And in addition, please make sure you check out our sponsor, Trollandtoad.com. They really are a great TCG store uh, and just where I get all my cards from. So, guys, thank you so much for being here with me tonight to test out Series 8. We're going to be coming back to Series 8 later on in the week. Uh, Tom, Mike, and I are all going to be fighting each other. Uh, using some of these uh, Gobble the Book teams I put together. So guys, again, thank you so, so, so much for being here, and have a great night. Bye-bye! <laughs>